Hi guys, welcome back to another thrift haul here on my channel. I have a lot of stuff to show you, so I'm just going to jump right into it. I think I'm going to start with the padded hangers that I found, or the silk hangers. I told y'all you're going to get sick of seeing these, because I always find loads of them. Um, it's getting to the point where I'm collecting a lot. So I'm trying to only purchase ones that are like a really pretty color that I like or have like a different kind of detail to them. But I really love this lilac color. This one doesn't have the price on it anymore. They're all priced differently. Like I've said before, I don't really understand. But this one is my favorite. And then this one was 99 cents and it just has like some lace um, up top right here. I don't know if the camera's even focusing, but this one's super pretty. It's like a light peach color. And then this one has some floral pattern to it, and I think that's so cute. This one was also 99 cents. I love this little pink bow right here. I just love the little floral details. I love the floral pattern. It has like light purple in there. And then a true Barbie pink one. Couldn't pass this up. This one was 49 cents. Not sure why. But a lot of times when I buy these, they're on sale too, so I get them for like a quarter. And then another peachy one. This one's by the brand Mary Kay, so I thought that was kind of cool. So yeah, I just wanted to get those out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and show you the clothing and nightgown pieces that I found. Um, I only found one shirt that I'm actually going to wear. This one is from Forever 21. I got it at the Goodwill, um, however much shirts are there. But I love it. It's so pretty. Kind of reminds me of Peter Pan, like Wendy from Peter Pan. So I'm excited to wear this with something cute underneath. And then I found this dress, and no, I'm not going to wear this. It's this, like, I want to say 80s, probably 90s style dress. But it has this amazing floral pattern, and that's what I bought it for. To probably cut it up and use on some future projects I have in mind. I did try it on, and it wasn't cute, so. But it does have these really cute pearls right here as well. So I can also take those off and use those in some crafts. Okay, moving on to the nightgowns and bed jackets. I have this white one. This is by the brand Shadowline. And I keep grabbing these because I have it in green, like a mint green, pink, and then maybe blue. I don't know, but I decided I was just going to collect every single color I found. And it has these cute little rosettes around the collar. So I'm sure you recognize this part if you watch my thrift hauls in the past. Next one I found, I'm not really sure why I bought it because it's a little brighter than like the color I go for. But I see these on Poshmark and Etsy and eBay and I love the style of them. This like really light lacy material and it goes down kind of like a ballerina skirt at the bottom. I tried it on for fun and it's super revealing. I think this one's from the 80s. I looked it up online and yeah, it was just a dollar or two. So I have a problem. I just grabbed it. So this next one is freaking incredible. I love everything about it. It's really long, so I'm going to try to show it to you, but it's a two-piece. The nightgown is just like a really unflattering, long nightgown, but the robe is what sold me on it. It's so long and flowy, and then the sides are open right here all the way down, and the lace literally goes all the way around. I think it's so girly and luxurious. But yeah, this one was, I believe, $4 or so and I found it at Goodwill. So this next one is definitely my favorite nightgown that I've ever found while thrifting. I found it at the Goodwill, and it is just incredible. It is a Christian Dior two-piece. This is just the nightgown. I have the robe on my mannequin here in this room. I'm gonna show some clips, like some close-up clips of it because I don't wanna try it on. I do have this one listed on my Poshmark and Etsy just in case there is a collector out there that would want it more than me. But I think this is so luxurious and beautiful. I love it so much. I hope no one buys it. So the next item I found is this heart three-tiered little tray. I think this is meant to hold jewelry or maybe perfume. Um, I originally just passed it up and thought, oh, that's really cute because it's kind of a little girlish. But then I was like, you know what, just grab it. You can use it to add some height to this room on a shelf. And I'm constantly accumulating knickknacks and more items. So... I got it anyways. It was $3.99, and it's a really pretty baby pink color, and I like the little gem it has on top here. Then I saw this vase sitting right next to that, and this was actually an Edible Arrangements vase. It was $0.99, cents, but I love the stripes 
and this mint teal color is really pretty to me. So that was a cute little find. I also have this oval picture frame. This was $8, but I love the picture. It's actually just like a canvas. Someone definitely just like Mod Podge this on here, but it's this really pretty Victorian lady. Kind of reminds me of something like Marie Antoinette, but I really love it a lot. And I have this hanging in my bedroom right now. Like she's so fancy. I have another lamb planter that I came across and I was so happy to find this. I think he's so cute like look at his little blushy cheeks it was three dollars and I've decided that when it comes to nursery planters I really love the sheeps and the lambs I don't know the difference and like the animals like the kittens and little poodles and stuff but yeah the lambs are definitely my favorite I just think he's so cute look at his little curly hair then I saw this really pretty pink I don't know how to describe this it's like stained pink um, I'm sure someone kept like oil in here or something like cooking oil because it looks I need to clean it out still but I thought this would be cute as just a little decor piece because this kind of matches my living room a little it was only two dollars so <laughs> so yeah I think I really like the shape in the top right here it's just a really pretty bottle I ended up finding a curtain, I don't know if it's pronounced Valence or Valance, but I have this really small window in my kitchen, like above my sink, that doesn't have a curtain. And then this one matches my dining room curtain, which is also kind of like that Valanced shape, Valance, Valanced shape. Um, so it matches it almost perfectly. So once it's hung up, it's going to hang kind of like this. Uh, I think it was only a dollar, a dollar or two. So yeah, I grabbed this. I think it's really pretty. I just love lace. So I got a bunch of vintage, I don't like saying the word vintage, but I'm pretty sure these are from the 40s and 50s. And I got them because A, they're pretty, like I'm not gonna wear them. And I don't really think I'm gonna resell them because I don't think anyone really wants to buy slips like that. But I like them because they're good to just kind of add texture and layers to this room and on the shelves and stuff. I like it to really look like an actual dressing room. So there's this blue one with lace details. This one was a dollar as well. They're all a dollar ninety-nine. So you have the lace on the bottom and then this one is also blue but the lace is a cream color. This one's really pretty. They're all by different brands too that I've never heard of. And then this one's a half slip and I really love this mauve color. And it has this little lace slit right here. So I have been on the hunt for a perfume tray like this, like one of these older ones with the gold. I have one a little bigger than this in my living room, and it has a bunch of different height candles on it. So I didn't want to take that away. But I found this smaller one for $4 um, so that I can start to display some of my Avon collection on here. So super happy to find this. And then we'll move on to I found a lot of Avon bottles. So if this is your first time watching one of my hauls, I collect vintage Avon bottles, but only like really pretty girly ones. So I went to a yard sale and I picked up six of them. He only charged me a dollar each. So this one was probably a, had like some sort of bath foam or something in it. But I love the shape of the bottle and the way the pink and the white look together. This adorable little mini one has a green color, which I'm not super crazy about, but I do love this mint. So this one's super cute. And then another little one. This one also, I hauled one before that I said reminds me of I Dream a Genie. And I don't know why this one reminds me of like a genie in a bottle. This one isn't Avon actually. It was just a little, they had like a collection of tiny perfume bottles like this. And I liked the shape of this one. Once again, don't even want to know what it smells like because it's probably so old. But I like that one. And this one's by Avon. How cute is this? It's like a little teapot with this floral pattern. I think it's so cute. It had this like blue liquid. You can still kind of see it in there. And I gave it a good clean and it's still fairly dirty. But this one's probably my favorite. Pretty dusty powdery blue color. This was probably holding some sort of moisturizer. Um, the top was literally black and I had to bleach it and scrub it. So it has this like ugly yellow color to it now but I think it's really pretty still. Yeah, I got all of these for a dollar each. It looks so cute on this tray. And then the last item I got from that yard sale is this ceramic bow box. It's like, I think it's supposed to look like a little hat box or a present. 
but he charged me a dollar for this as well. I think Mary, the vintage vegan here on YouTube, um, I think she has one of these. I could be wrong, but I love it. I think it's super girly and cute, and I have a sick obsession with decorative storage boxes and hat boxes. I can't be stopped. I have a few pairs of vintage gloves to share with you. I'll start with this white one right here. It has pearls. These are actually a little beat up and dirtied up, um, but I got them because they came in a pack of two, and the other pair is pink, which I'm not showing you because one of my next, hopefully the next video, if not, it's coming up very soon. I asked you on Instagram about doing a giveaway, and you said you preferred a bundle of like vintage items. So I threw the other pair in that bundle, and then I'm keeping this pair for myself. Then I found this amazing pair of purple ones. I have mentioned in a previous video that I've been searching for a purple pair, and I finally found them. I only had to drive three hours to get them. Just kidding, I didn't drive there for the gloves. I went to San Antonio on my birthday, and I visited an antique store there, and I found these. I picked up this vintage greeting card. She's, it's signed and she wrote 1965 on the back, so that's pretty cool. It was a dollar. I love the little porcelain rose, or not porcelain, it's like a resin or clay rose, but it like sticks out, so it looks three-dimensional and so cute. I think it's just really beautiful. It says, a birthday message from someone who cares. And then they signed it. I don't know why I think that's so awesome when I find signed cards. I'm a dork. And the last two items I have to share with you are these, I think they're just like, I don't know if they're called playbills or music sheets, if you know anything about what the actual name of these are, let me know please. But I've decided that these are going to be something that I collect as well from now on. I don't want to take them out of the bag yet because I'm scared I am going to damage them. But they're just little song books and they don't say a year on them. I tried to look them up and I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. But they were a dollar a piece. This one's super pretty. It's kind of like 60s to me. Also, I wanted to tell you that I just discovered like Amazon shop lists. It's linked in the description already, but I am adding items on there that I either haul or if I see something that's similar to a vintage or thrifted piece that I can add on there, then you can maybe have access to things if you like them. Like for instance, I have my case on there. I have the ring light I use as well as my floral sheets that I pop up on Instagram from time to time in some of my photos. There's just a bunch of different really girly like vintage inspired things. I even added a nightgown that looks very similar to the ones that I haul all the time except it's not vintage. Um, so yeah, be sure to check that out. If you see something that I haul or post on Instagram, let me know and I will try to find an alternative for you. So that is all that I have to share with you today. Hope you enjoyed watching, and like I said, stay tuned for my next video if you are interested in the vintage bundle for my giveaway.